Broncos are now just about a week away from their first preseason game. Hard to believe it's already that time of year. Tomorrow they'll be at Mile High Stadium for practice. And, of course, Justin Adams joins us now to talk about how some Colorado kids are turning heads. That's yeah. right. There's one young man that's looking to make the team just like Philip Lindsay last year. Look, didn't you just love the story of Philip Lindsay last year? He was an undrafted player from Denver who beat the odds to make the team. Now there is another Colorado kid in Deion Sizer who's hoping to follow in Lindsay's footsteps. Honestly, it's an amazing experience to be here. It's like surreal, you know, growing up here, going to college in Colorado, be able to play for the home team is, uh, it, the feelings is, is indescribable. Deion Sizer grew up in Aurora and played his high school ball at Eagle Crest. He didn't have the chance to play college ball with the Buffs or the Rams, so he went the Division II route and played at Colorado State Pueblo where he won a national championship. Now he's hoping to win a Super Bowl with Von Miller and Derek Wolf. I used to watch guys like Wolf and Von Miller and all of them, and so be able to call them teammates right now is it's uh, indescribable. It really is indescribable. But making the team won't be easy. Sizer faces an uphill battle as an undersized defensive tackle, but he plays with a chip on his shoulder, and the vets have taken notice. One thing that I like about uh, D is that he knows what he's doing. He asks questions. Oh, how was that rep? And how can I get better with this? And um, if you do that, and you become a student of the game, you know. A little bit of talent, a little bit of hard work, and, you know, the sky's the limit. He's getting it. He's getting it just as well as all the other rookies. So, you know, it's mad respect to him for all that. But he, he's uh, he's definitely going out there and proving himself. Sizer hopes that his hard work will pay off, becoming another local kid who plays for the Orange and Blue. It would be a dream come true, you know, and that's what I'm working for right now. And that's, that's you know, that's everybody's dream is to be on that 53-man roster, you know. And as it is right now, I'm focused on just grinding out, getting better as I can every day. And then from there on, we'll, the coaches will make their decisions and, We'll see how it goes. Now, Deion Sizer also said that if he did make the final roster, the first person he would think would be his parents. Now, at 535, we'll look at the Broncos' first and only practice at Broncos Stadium at Mile High, and I'll tell you how you could get in for free. It's coming up next. So a guy named Sizer could, mm -hmm. I mean, the size could be <laughs> That's the right. issue for him when he's, when he's what, 280? Yeah, just 280. He could eat yeah. a couple more cheeseburgers and everything. Right. You could do that in the morning, just help you out a little bit <laughs> to gain more weight. But look, the young man, he has a whole lot of speed. He mm -hmm. is coming from Division Two, but he does have speed, a lot of power as well. We'll see what he could do in, uh, in the preseason games. He could surprise out there. It's certainly going to take a lot of work, though. It is going to take a whole lot of work to do that. I think this could be a guy who could be a practice squad player, mm -hmm. but if he makes that final 53 roster, what a story. You could be just like Philip Lindsay last year.